I'm really proud of our team. You know, we've been working to get to this point um, and, and really put both sides of the ball together. And I thought we really did that here tonight. Our defensive effort was phenomenal, holding them to 36 percent. Did a great job on a really, really good player in DeMarco Minor, um, holding him to, to only nine points and uh, just, just making life difficult. They had 14 turnovers and just uh, it was great execution defensively by our group. And then I thought we did a great job of just playing together, sharing the ball in what was a really tough physical game uh, that SIU was playing. Well, we got this team together and we knew that we could be really special. Um, so we've, you know, we wanted, we knew we needed to be playing our best basketball at the end of the year so that we could play for something really, truly special. And uh, we've been that way all year. We hit one little skid that was a few weeks ago and um, that's part of it. But, you know, it exposed some things that we needed to get better with and we certainly did and credit these guys. Um, and getting healthy as well. But, yeah, you want to be playing your best basketball at the end of the year coming in. And so I think this is four straight wins of 18-ish or whatever that may be. Um, but we're not worried about any of that stuff. You know, we're worried about the next game, the next play, and, and executing. But it certainly does help with confidence, as it should. I just think just, just we, the faith we have in each other and the confidence and the belief we have in each other. And my teammates trust in me. And, me trusting my teammates and, you know, at a certain point, you know, shots are going to start falling. So I think just the confidence that we have in each other and it just carried over into the whole game. We were locked in from the jump and it, it made it easy to go out there and play hard and leave it all out there. So I can, like, I give it to my teammates and, and they give it right back to me, so. Yeah, they make me look like a good coach. I tell you, these guys, they, they're awesome. Um, you know, J2 making some really good plays with the ball and for himself and for his teammates. Riley being a, just an absolute warrior down there and, and, and rebounding the ball and doing some unbelievable things. But, you know, um, you know Andrew Thelwell was phenomenal tonight. He had the, the assignment of, of guarding DeMarco Minor. I thought Khalil Thomas was as, as unbelievably hooked up and then he was the beneficiary. These guys doing a great job with their execution, sharing the ball and getting some really good looks. Like my whole life and my childhood is all you want to do is play in the ESA tournament and just getting recruited here and I just knew I wanted to play for a winning program and a winning head coach and when I was getting recruited they had just lost in the championship game and so my eyes was lit, lighting up and I was just super excited to get on a team that was competing for championships and, and so we, we taking it one game at a time and I just think we, we knocking on the door to accomplish it. That's the reason I came here. I knew the program that Moorhead State had and the culture we had could get us there. And that was my one reason for coming back for another year of college, because I was deciding whether to go pro or not. And um, I feel like we're right where we want to be. Um, we got a great system that allows us to play freely and, and trust each other and go out there every night and compete. And I feel like when we're competing at, a high, at the highest level, nobody can beat us. So. Um, it makes it easy to come here for my last year, and, and we're right where, as I said, right where we want to be, and it, it's going to be special for sure. This team's been great on the road all year. You know, we, we won uh, a lot of road games in the non-conference, and then here in league play, we played some Big Ten opponents and uh, SEC teams, and, um, you know, those things really helped us to accomplish what our real goal is of just getting better. They showed us some things we got to improve on, and, Again, credit these guys for having the humility to come in and do that. But it certainly does give you confidence. And we want another crack at one of those teams, you know. And we know that we gotta, we got to take care of business here in Evansville to be able to do that. You know, the whole, the whole nation's going to be watching tomorrow, these two semifinal games, and then on Saturday. And that's what OBC basketball is. And, uh, you know, our league is a great basketball league, and we get the opportunity. Uh, to kick off March Madness each and every year. And so it's very worthy of having three teams that are going to have a ring this year playing on Friday night. And my motivation for this thing is I just want one more day with you. That's it. I just want one more day. And I'll say the same thing tomorrow. Coaching you guys is, is so unbelievably fun and rewarding. Okay? Unless we get one more day. We get one more day to be together. So let's make sure that we're true. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny, though. <laughs> <laughs>
How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm gonna just place that thing right there.